Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I want to ride. It's your girl Stacey Thru and I'm coming at you live with this soft glam makeup tutorial. I love doing this makeup look myself so I'm so excited to show you guys how I get it done. First things first, I start off with my skin clean and then I put moisturizer down. I don't like to do too much with the skincare beforehand because my makeup loves to slip and slide underneath so I like to keep it pretty simple. I did my eyebrows off camera. If you want to see how I did this, I can give you an in-depth eyebrow tutorial. I've changed my eyebrows so much since I started doing makeup. I created a whole new shape for myself because why not? I'm putting on a layer of the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer on my face. I use my hand to kind of spread it all around and then I start to do a tapping motion so I can get a feel for the tackiness. When it's tacky, I know it's time to start laying down that foundation. I put on an extra layer on areas of my face that have a hard time grabbing that foundation, like my smile lines or my T-zone. Then I'm gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in a light shade all over my eyes. I don't know exactly what shade this is. I'm gonna link everything and all the products that I use for this down below in my LTK Marketplace. You can click those links and get exactly the products that I used, but you just wanna use something light so that the eyeshadows can really pop when you go on top of them. I used the Morphe 305 palette and kind of just played around with all the brown shades. I put a shade that was like one shade darker than my skin in the crease and then a cool toned white shade on the inner corner and the brow bone. And then I deepened the crease with a cool toned brown shade and kind of drew that back towards my temples to kind of give my face a lifted look. We love the lifted look. The brows work into that lifted look, the eyeshadow does the same and then you'll soon see my contour and my blush all do the same and give my face a facelift. I like to drag my eyeshadow into my brow bone just to make my nose contour and my eyebrows blend into one another. Okay. Allergy season? Blaze. Blaze, blaze, blaze. Stop attacking me. Okay, so then I put my foundation on my face. I never used to be a foundation girly, but I had to start because the concealer was not really sticking to my face until unless I put this layer of foundation on. Make sure you drag it down to your neck because we don't need people taking pictures of us with the flash and then it looks like we have a mask on. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. First things first, I'm going to use the Fenty Concealer. I'm going to use a shade that is one shade darker than my skin, or maybe like two shades. I'm going to cover a majority of where I would contour my face. As I get more precise with the way that I precise... <laughs> As I get more precise with the way that I put my concealer on my face, I'm going to get lighter with the concealer colors. So I go in with a shade that's like five shades darker than my skin tone. Sometimes I even use white white, but like that's like when we're going for the drama. Right now we're just going for a soft glam. You feel me? So I put it on like this. I use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I spray that all over my face and I wait till it gets dry. I do this so that my concealer kind of sticks in place because sometimes when we put different shades of concealer all over our face, it tends to move all around when we start blending and we don't want it to move around. We put it in these places for a reason. So it deserves to stay where it's supposed to stay. My edges look a little bit crusty. Don't look at it. Look at the contour. Look at the chic bone. Hmm? All right. So... I'm gonna blend and just like tap, tap, tap with my Real Techniques brush. These brushes are also linked down below. They're actually really, really good and they're really not, they're very inexpensive. So I really like them. Hello. I'm going to blend out all this concealer and I start off with the shades that are closest to my skin tone and then I go into the shade that is the next lightest shade and then I do the lightest shade last. And this helps with the mixing of all the colors. It makes everything stay where it's supposed to stay. You kind of want to blend this out without mixing all the concealers all together. Like just blend the fine lines between each color, but don't make it mix. Like keep it where it's supposed to be when it's supposed to be there. You understand it? Good. As you can see, I kind of like pulled back that high, the contour, I mean the concealer into my temple. And that again, gives me that lifted brow look. Then I'm going to use the excess, I'm going to put it on my forehead to cover that pimple that came to come and not pay rent on my forehead. 
menstrual cycles wow gotta love them i'm gonna use the fenty contour in the color chocolate and i'm gonna put that in my cheekbone and i'm also gonna put that in my temple area it's gonna give me like a pull back look and then i'm gonna pop that on my forehead i add more just to deepen and make it more precise towards like towards that line that we made if that makes sense then i'm gonna add the contour to my nose with a more precise brush i put it on the on, on underneath the tip of my nose and on top of the tip of my nose this kind of gives my nose a buttony look you can really recreate your nose in any way shape or form with makeup i just gave myself a rhinoplasty you just wait because this this nose gets skinnier and skinnier as the video goes on Okay, so then I go in with my blush. I never used to use blush because I was like, oh, I'm a black girl, I don't blush. But girl, this one is a game changer. Get you a blush. This one's by Rare Beauty. Um, I, I use a red one, but I really want to try like a more peachy tone. I layer this on because I really like going ham with this. <laughs> and I make sure to bring it on my temple as well. It does a good job of like blending the contour into that highlight and making it not look so harsh. I like to layer it on so that it's like, it really pops it's really popping looking and dropping if that makes sense i put it on the tip of my nose as well because i don't know the white girls be blushing on their nose too so i want to i want to blush on my nose too what i'm not gonna miss out on no fine i go in with my foundation brush that i used at the beginning of the video to blend the like harsh lines between the highlight the contour the blush I don't want to do too much blending, but I just want to make sure that the lines are not too harsh and that everything is really pressed into the face. I did my eyeliner off camera because it's just hard to do it on camera. And then I used my dirty, dirty, dirty <laughs> Real Technique sponge. Like, girl, I don't know. Sometimes my brushes and my sponges be working so much better when they're dirty. So, <sighs> call, me, call it what you want. Call it what you want. But my face is beat. So, I take a little bit of that Fenty powder put it all over my face everywhere that i put the concealer now you need to understand that wherever you put down liquid you have to put down dries as well to set the liquid like that's a good rule of thumb to always remember but you have to always make sure that the powder that you put down is the same color as the liquid that you put down so i'm going to use a translucent or like a light color to set all the places where i put concealer i like to press it into my face and then after putting in a nice layer of just like press, 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 press. I like to go into places like my under eye where I want it to be more bright and just bake it, which means to put a lot more on there and just let it sit for a little bit. This is gonna give my under eyes that pop, that UK bright under eye gel dem ting that I'm looking for, you understand? You have to understand that ting. So then I'm going to cut my contour to make it more accentuated and this if i don't do the next step that i'm gonna do it would look a little bit crazy so first i'm gonna lay that down you're probably like why are you doing this anyway if it's gonna come back to bite you in the butt girl we're gonna fix everything okay i'm going to go back in with a darker powder to cut that jawline Wow, the lights going off really shook me. <laughs> but I'm gonna go in with a darker powder on top of that line to make it blend into my neck. Now the reason I put down that translucent powder first is because it's like drying on a white piece of paper. It's going to the colors are gonna come out more vibrant if you draw on a white piece of paper than you were than they were to if you draw on like a black piece of paper, if that makes sense. So I take my Hula Beauty bronzer in the color caramel and I take a big brush and I just want to contour my face but in a very broad way it kind of helps everything blend together so the contour is not so harsh and then i'm going to go back in and de deepen that contour with a darker powder bring it down your neck we're seeing no harsh lines y'all none i take my morphe brush and i take that hula bronzer and do the same thing with my nose just kind of lay down the map for what we're going to do for the nose contour in the next couple steps like look at the difference that already makes you could just leave it like that if you don't actually want your nose to be on if you don't want your nose to be on michael jackson type mode you feel me but i do that's the look i'm going for so i am going to continue this nose contour but you can live here if this is the where if this was where you feel most comfortable wow 
wow, these lights, girl. Anyway, I go in the darker shades in the Morphe palette and apply them more precisely on my nose and bring them into my brow bone and make them blend into that eyeshadow contour. I take my fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the NARS blush in the color Orgasm. I'm going to dab that everywhere where I put the liquid blush. Again, liquid is set with dries. So I take a dense brush and I kind of just dust slash pack in all the places where I was baking. Now this step could get a little bit scary because it's like caking. As you can see, like I'm low-key panicking too, but don't panic. Fear not, we have setting spray for a reason. Zip, zip, zip. Like I was low-key panicking. Don't fret. Deco fret. <laughs> Now it's time for us to snatch the nose even more. We're going in with a Laura Mercier powder and translucent, and we're going to use that sharp side of the Real Techniques sponge. We're gonna cut up that nose contour, like we're going to cut it up. The closer these two lines are, the smaller your nose looks. Just a good rule of thumb. It helps accentuate the dark eyeshadow that we put to contour the nose, is basically what we're doing. I'm going to go and um, apply like that. You want to put that bake next to your nose. If someone were to take pictures of you with flash, you would look really crazy if you didn't apply more bake underneath your eye to kind of blend in with that nose bake. So we kind of just do that for seamlessness purposes. Then I'm going to go in with a darker brown shade in the Morphe palette and go on top of those, those lines as well just to make some blend to bring less harshness to the nose contour. The nose contour is a skill. It is literally a science. It's a science! Like, I'm literally MJ in his prime with this nose. Like, are you dumb? I'm doing rhinoplasty. I'm doing surgery with this nose. Dr. Miami, you have nothing on this. Nothing at all. I like to put my excess powder underneath my lip just so it gives my lip that shadow that it's like, it gives the illusion that my lip is like so big, it's drooping down. Now I have lip filler, rhinoplasty, like what? I'm in business. Okay, I put a lot, and when I tell you a lot of Morphe setting spray all over my face, this helps melt everything all together. This doesn't even show how much I put, like I put a lot and it helps everything look less cakey and more melted and seamless. Like, do you see me? Are you dumb? And it just keeps getting better and better and better and better. So I'm gonna use the NYX lip liners and I'm gonna use a dark kind of mahogany shade. I don't remember what this one was actually called. Barem. It's gonna be down below in the description box. Anyways, I'm gonna put it on my lips. I'm gonna overline my lips just a tad. And then I'm gonna use a um, shade that's like a little bit lighter, a little bit rosier. And I'm gonna feather out those edges. Then I'm gonna leave the center of my lips bare. Now I did put my eyelashes off on off camera. Cause it's just easier to do like sorry but these lashes are so cute they're from amazon i'm gonna make sure to look them as well i put my mac lipstick in like a nudie shade in the middle just in the middle it gives that illusion that the middle of your lip is just coming out at the person like it's like you have some fat lips girl thank you i'm gonna refer you to my local doctor okay the same thing with um setting the the wets with the dries and the light colors you want to do the same with the lip gloss so i put a liquid base on the whole lip but i made sure to set the middle with the nyx butter gloss that's like creamy and like nudie colored not the clear one and it, look at it like look at the effect look at the effect okay so with my nose contour i could just put it down regular degular but i don't do that because i'm not a regular degular girl i put it i put my mac eye pencil in the color white on my nose in like an exclamation point type of like shape like a line down the bridge of my no nose and then a, a line on the tip and then i put my highlighter on top now this highlighter y'all <laughs> i cannot believe that i'm even letting y'all know what it is because i really wanted to gatekeep this one it is the fancy highlighter in i think the color how many carrots and this is literally the most stunning highlighter i've ever used in my entire life i do not like when highlighters have like an eyeshadowy matte base behind all the glitter like the eyeshadowy matte base doesn't do me any good especially as like a girl of black skin tone it doesn't do me any good but this looks good on every single skin tone like it's just like no matte eyeshadow just glitter and i love it this light just shut me i don't know why the light just shut off on me these stupid lights anyways bye
Ew, 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 ew. Okay, and that is my makeup routine. Is it giving UK bad? Or just, am I still American? Don't piss me off. My makeup routine changes all the time. And I always say I'm gonna give you guys the updated one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all have been harassing me for long enough. Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below if it's giving UK baddie or am I just delusional? You let me know. And when you're humbling me, try not to humble me too hard. I'm sensitive. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and hit that post notification bell down below. Hit it. Hit it, you won't. I will see you in my video next week. Okay, consistency. Ew. Mwah.